golf is this man's profession, but like so many millions of his fellow countrymen, Shiv Kapoor is a devotee of bat and ball. The sport that's an Indian national obsession knocks him for six. Cricket's my first love. Golf is what I do for a living. <laughs> Growing up, you know, if you're a kid in India, you know, cricket is sort of part of your DNA. Loved it, you know, I used to come back home from school and couldn't wait to go out and play cricket. It's 40, 45 degrees outside, but, you know, you'd spend all afternoon playing cricket and then, you know, my mom would call me in and say, you know, it's time to do your homework. You know, my parents really didn't want me to be a professional golfer. We didn't have a strong enough, uh, you know, domestic tour in India. So for any parents, you know, it was always education first and, you know, sort of play golf on the side. And I think as the years went on and, uh, you know, it improved, uh, the Asian tour became stronger, the European tour started having more of a presence in Asia, there was more golf on television. So, you know, people like my parents and others understood that, you know, this is possibly a career option. And a good career it's been, although Shiv was in the doldrums until returning home to compete in the Gujarat Kensville Challenge, the opening event on the Challenge Tour last season. I had a drought of, you know, five or six years and I hadn't won a title on any of the major tours in the world. And, uh, you know, the owners of the golf course are really dear friends of mine. Uh, I'd made a promise to them that if I come back the following year, I'm going to come back and I'm going to win. And it's nice to be able to do something when you said it, you know, easier said than done. And then after winning there, it sort of automatically picked my schedule for me. And then I, I thought of concentrating a little bit on the challenge tour a bit more to try and get my card back. And as it turned out, it was the best decision I made. And that's why I'm sitting here with you today. At the open in July, Shiv made another flying start. During a first round when many toiled, this former Asian Games gold medalist birdied six of Muirfield's first seven holes. It was absolutely unbelievable. You know, when I looked up on the eighth green and I saw my name on top of that leaderboard, and I, I said to my my good friend who was carrying for me, Neeraj, and I said, is this really happening? You know, I mean, is this still a dream? Is somebody going to pinch me? But I think I managed to, you know, hold myself pretty well together for the rest of the round and, you know, to be up there. It was a great thing for Indian golf, I think, that day. A lot of people, uh, it wasn't, you know, Shiv Kapoor was leading the Open, it was more an Indians leading the Open Championship. And I think a lot of people took a lot of pride from that. As they did four months later, when Kapoor closed the challenge to a season as he began with a win, this time in the grand final at the tremendous Albadia Golf Club in Dubai. I think that week things just fell into place. I was quite relaxed. Uh, when you get into contention, you're looking to win a golf tournament and the juices are flowing. Uh, there's a lot of things that go on in your head. And I think for me, you know, the biggest moment of pride was playing that final round with a big lead and to be able to hold on. And when all the pressure is on, it gives you a lot of confidence going forward. You know, it turned out to be a fairy tale ending to the year. So then, with full playing rights now regained, what's the outlook for this popular 32-year-old from Delhi? having spent seven years playing on the European Tour and then losing your card, when you get it back, uh, I had a much greater appreciation for it. So it was a sense of relief, it was a sense of, you know, belonging, a sense of that, you know, I'm back where I should be. And that was uh, obviously very, very gratifying.